Hey guys, it's Gage from the Paper Fever Juice Review. Um, we're not really reviewing juice today, so um, the hardware review, the hardware discussion. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna, I'm gonna tell you about a product that I think everybody should know about because uh, yeah, it's pretty great. It's the Geek Vape Aegis Legend. Um, it's a dual 18650, 200 watt um, mod. It's it's tough as hell. That's that's the whole reason why I want everybody to know about this. Um, there's a whole bunch of color options. There's a mini version. We're going to talk about all of that. We're going to talk about the function, the form. The We're going to talk about it all. Um, there's going to be some up-close bits. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. So, guys, we're going to talk about the Age of Legend a little bit. Um, the first thing, it's got tons of tons of tons of options available. They're going to show up somewhere on the screen here there's obviously a black and orange there's a all black there is a black and uh stainless steel there is a black and gunmetal with kind of a uh desert camo and there's a black and gunmetal with kind of like a digital white and black camo um actually yeah it's more of like a snake skin i guess is like it's like a desert it's like a desert snake skin i guess but yeah those are the options that are available. There's also a mini version of this. It's got a built-in, um, I can't remember the specs on that one exactly, but it's just half the size. It's got a built-in battery. It does 80 watts. Um, and it's just as tough as these ones. So here's why I think everybody needs to know about this. I'm incredibly tough on products. I'm incredibly tough on things. Um, and I've dropped this numerous times, and it you can't you can't even tell. I've been using this for well over a month. It's got to have been dropped. I don't know. It's probably had four good drops, like off the top of my toolbox to a concrete floor, um, and then you know, like just typical, like kind of falls over on a table. Um, but I don't worry about it. So yeah, guys. Um, real quick, running uh, run through some specs. Uh, Geek Vape says this thing is water resistant. Uh, it's drop, uh, it's shock resistant, dust resistant, um, any kind of resistant that you can think of, this thing is. It's, um, it's got like an aluminum, like an aluminum build, like an aluminum body to it, but everything, most of it, like all the edges that would take a drop are rubber coating to kind of like absorb the impact. Um, the only real issue i have with this mod is that one thing is that when it goes into your pocket it will pull out all the lint it will collect all the dust it will there's no fingerprints on it but it will try to keep this rubber clean try um the other thing is that the battery door is really hard to close and i know that those are both like some pretty nitpicky issues to have but those are those are the issues that i have with this mod everything else is is just phenomenal. Wow, what's that word there I'm looking for? Scrolls, scrolls through your uh, through your wattages pretty quickly, um, all the way up to 200. It's got all the information that you could want, your resistance, your voltage, your amperage, your puff. Um, it's got a dimming screen. You can go into the settings and you can change uh, the brightness of the screen. You can change how long it goes to sleep for. Um, but yeah, really, there's not a whole lot else to tell you it's just it's a tough tough mod that i have already kind of put through the paces and it's got nothing to show like really looking at it i can see one or two little scratches kind of in the orange but i mean i feel like that's just because it's bright orange and it stands out um uh oh another kind of might be a semi-con um to help with the water resistance it's a recessed micro usb port so they have a big, massive rubber block that kind of seals it off um, to help keep the water out. The downside is that not all cables are going to fit in there. It is really deep, and if your cable has like a really big bezel on it, it's not going to fit inside to actually charge the port. Um, you should always charge externally, but if you do choose to charge in the mod, just so that you know, not all cables are going to work. Um, obviously, the one that comes provided fits in there fine. But, uh, yeah, just to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, it's a great mod. It'll hold up to, uh, I've had up to 26 millimeter add devices on top and had no overhang. I 
think I've read somewhere online that it will hold a 28 mil without overhang or very minimal overhang, but I haven't been able to test that. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, it's just it's just phenomenal. I don't know what else I can really tell you. If you're looking for a mod that you can not have to worry about, that can just be kind of thrown around and take a beating, this is definitely something to look into. The Aegis Legend. So yeah, guys, we talked about the Aegis Legend from Geek Vape, the uh, the 200 watt. Uh, it's tough as hell. It vapes really good. Uh, the screen, the interface is really easy to use. The only two kind of semi-cons that I guess I have with it is that the door is hard to close and um, not all micro USB cords are actually going to fit physically inside of this because it's recessed inside the mod. Uh, but other than that, guys, if this is something to definitely 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 check out don't forget guys we are on all the social media that's instagram facebook and twitter you can find us there at beaver fever underscore nb unless you're on the facebook then it's just beaver fever nb because there's no fancy characters on facebook that's a mouthful without adam um yeah guys if you like the video don't forget like comment subscribe uh probably won't be a poll this week um but yeah you know share to all your friends and uh I think that covers all of the bases, so everybody have yourselves a wonderful day, and remember to keep her cloudy.